All right, so the first thing we're going to adjust is the primary set screw, which is going to adjust this throttle board. So we're going to look at this one. You can use a feeler gauge, you can use an airflow gauge. Once you get that one adjusted, however you want it adjusted, the next step is to come over and adjust this one that's paired. So you come down to the lower screw, which attaches to this L-shaped bracket. And then you're going to open that. And it works best on a manifold where everything's bolted down tight. But there we start getting the opening. So you adjust this until these two balance. Then you're going to move to the opposite side of the engine and repeat that process. And once you get the center four balanced, the outer four are then linked through these barrels. Now to adjust the outer four, we're going to take a 760 force Allen wrench. And inside the barrel, you can see the head of the screw. And this is a pinch bolt for that one single throttle bore. Now this particular one is spring loaded on the end, so when I re released it, it went all the way to bore. But once you get that re released, then you can adjust these two independently. You uh, adjust this one to whatever it is you're, you're trying to achieve as far as balance with the, either the feeler gauge with the engine off or the airflow meter with the engine on and then you tighten the set screw or tighten the pinch bolt and then it's adjusted. Then you repeat that process on all four outer corners. So that's how you balance the four centers. Side to side is balanced with the links on the bell crank which aren't here but you can imagine and then the outer four are done with the pinch bolts.